Okay, so now we are going to take a look at our map here. And we are going to limit the vision of the players so that if they are here in the you know entranceway uh, of the underground encounter um, they're not going to be able to see you know into the walls or through the walls and into these shelves and stuff like that so what we do for that is called vision blocking layer so when you're playing you use uh, the token right the token layer uh, when you're uh, designing, you use vision blocking layer to, to do this control. You can do a solid square, open square, solid circle, open circle, that's fine. But you can also do a closed polygon or just a straight line. Um, X's, I never really understood why you'd want to do that, but fine, and diamonds. So these are the two I use most often. Um, and for the outside areas, I'm actually going to use the polygon, the filled polygon. So left left click of course you can't see my hand but left click uh, and now it's drawing it's really hard to see um, hopefully may, you might be able to see if you zoom in you might be able to see the line that's on the X there um, right mouse click does waypoints so what I'm doing is I'm doing the waypoints on the inside of my lovely lovely drawings so that the players can get a sense of the incredible artistic ability of their dungeon master uh, and I'm going to start with a left click right right and then there we go um, I I could leave this open because this is a, a chasm right that they're crossing um, but then they're just gonna see rope bridge or you know underworld so I'm going to block that off there we go and I'm going to go down here and click. Doo -doo -doo. You probably hear the clicks. The microphone's not too bad. And this is not terribly exciting for those folks following along with the home game. And you can see there. So uh, we're going to rejoin uh, once I've got the rest of this external area done. Okay, so you can see that I've got the uh, the main areas blocked off. Uh, so players will never be able to see into this area, that's all. So if a player is here, they won't be able to see through this area to these platforms. Um, now, what you will notice though, is that I've, I've pulled it back a bit from these corners. So what I'm gonna do though, is I am gonna put a vision blocking layer up into these pillars and what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that the players don't artificially see around the corner faster than they should so I'm actually going to use the circle which doesn't happen that often and you can see the first circle I did was not that good so let's try it again so it's starting from the center and going out and I missed a bit so uh, I'm actually going to hold down the shift key click the button and then erase it. So shift erases, whereas regular opens it up. So there we go. So now I've got the one I want and there we go. Another one I want. Uh, I'm going to do this one over here and this one over here. And you know, the reality is players don't see these as uh, in entire circles so the fact that they're not perfectly circular is not a problem I don't want them to see through the rock here so I'm gonna use this is one of the times I'm gonna use the line and then click click done click click done now it's probably hard to see on the video so I'm gonna zoom way in and you can see when I when I do that I get like this one line so it, it's incredibly thin but it does the job and this way the players get the lovely, lovely view of my high-res pencil drawings. So there you go. Because I went through all the effort of making it, they're going to blink and enjoy it. So so now, if a player character is here, they won't be able to see through that. Um, they can see through the, the, the bridge itself. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. But this building stuff, this over here, uh, they won't be able to see through this. Now, this is a low fence. Uh, which is going to have a corral of um, 
creatures, such as, um, you know, riding ants and things like that, because this is an uh, underdark sort of environment. Um, but they shouldn't be able to see into this building. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use the single lines, the ones I just showed you. So click, and then right mouse click. And remember, the right mouse click does waypoints, basically. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm making just a very thin line and then left click again. So now I've blocked this off. Players won't be able to see into it. Um, and, uh, and, and that's fantastic. That's all I really need. Um, these are barrels. Uh, if they were tall, if they were like uh, pillars or something, I could block them off. But to be honest, don't need to do that. So we're actually okay. For these wagons, I'm going to say these wagons are actually um, fairly tall. So we're going to use the the rectangle, the filled rectangle. Uh, actually, we're not because they could go inside. We're going to use the open rectangle. So click and click and then click and click done. So now when the players see those, they're they're going to end up not being able to see through them. So um, but let's let's take a look and see how this actually works in real life. So we've got this all blocked off. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change um, to token view. I'm going to throw a dwarf token on here. I'm going to make this token, it doesn't really matter what I call it, I'll call him test Oreo. And it, does, it doesn't really matter if he's a PC or an NPC, I'll make him a PC. He's visible, that's okay. So now we've got Testorio. Okay, Testorio. First of all, you need a light source. So let's go to light source, and we're going to give him a 30-foot light source. I mean, in theory, dwarves can, they have infravision, they can see under underground. Um, but, you know, for our purposes, I do need a light source for to work with the vision blocking layer. So we've got Testorio. Now, if I go into player view, uh, oh, actually, everything's light. So if I go into player view after, <laughs> after I change the map to Fog of War um, and Vision Night, there we go. So I just pressed Control I, by the way. So we've got our little our character, and we've got our thirty foot, um, basically sphere of of you know, viewing viewing. So I'm, I'm viewing as player right now. I'm going to go back to viewing as DM. What Fog of War gives you this grayed out environment so you can actually see what's happening. Now I'm dropping, I'm dropping the uh, token. You can see this circle is how much the token should be able to see, uh, but you don't actually get light until you can press Control I. Now, having this, this, catch, this catches me up all the time, or it used to catch me up all the time. Um, you can set it up to automatically renew its light source, but you actually have to be running your server. So I'm going to start server. Um, GM reveals, players can reveal vision, auto reveal on movement. So auto reveal on movement, that's what actually does the automatic um, light uh, updates on movement. So move, 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 drop, move, 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 drop. So I'm using the arrow keys here and D, D for drop. There's also a waypoint, I think it's spacebar, right? Um, but if you're using AI, it actually makes it so that players can't go into areas anyway. I'm Dungeon Master, so I'm, I'm allowed to, to do that kind of stuff. So you can see that as we go through here, if I was um, viewing as player, right? I actually don't get to see very much. And no, no, I can still... I can still drop, so there we go. Um, there we go. So you can see. Uh, remember, I actually created that one, that one single line of vision blocking layer around the uh, building, and that's what's happening there. Um, so now I can see through here, but I can't see through the. Uh, I can't see through the wagons. As I move, notice that what I can see changes. But my player remembers the area behind, it's just that it's grayed out. As a player, that's actually important because um, if a token moves into that area, I won't see him. 
Uh, I remember I remember what the map looks like, but I won't see the token if it's in that gray area. I only see the token of an enemy if it's in the white area. So there you go. Now, as DM, I can just move them right through uh, the visual blocking layer. If it was a PC, they wouldn't actually be able to move through the vision blocking layer. Um, but now you can see we're inside the building, so it's fully lit. Um, and, you know, I could pretend that there were stairs there and stuff. Uh, but what this does is this gives the, the dungeon master the ability to hide things from players the way they would normally be hidden and players to explore and find them as they go through the, go through the map. With, you know, with the current lazy players, remember I, I started playing in 78, so players would actually have to draw their own maps. With the current lazy, um, sort of generation of players who, as far as I can tell, never make maps. <laughs> this can really help them because it limits what they can see. Um, they can remember where they've been, but they still don't get to uh, just automatically see tokens when they get dropped onto the map. So that's vision blocking layers. Um, it's, it's pretty easy. It's not rocket science. Uh, first couple of times you do it, there's a couple of gotchas like uh, the control I or running the server to make sure that, um, you know, it updates on drop. Um, but that is, that is all hanging together nicely. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you an advanced feature with, that's new in, I don't know if it's new in 1.6, but it's, it's recent. And that's vision blocking layers on tokens. So stay tuned.